who dropped their famine Natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms are falling Angels be calling None of that could ever make me leave So these are cute. It's supposed to go with this dress, y'all. I brought the dress with me, but um, these are cute. I'm gonna wear like a jacket with brown, chocolate brown, um, black, and cream. So, no surprise. I'm gonna try them on, see what they look like. I also like these, but I don't like the pointed toes. But these are cute too. Okay, lastly, these are kind of cute too. All right, y'all, so I'm going to check one more place in the sales section before I actually try these on. So I'm going to leave these here for now and check and see what they have over there because I can't carry all three of these boxes, so BRB. They didn't have anything in the sales section, so I'm going to try these on real quick. Um, I brought socks with me, so yeah. It's pretty empty in here, y'all. It's probably because they're going to be closing shortly, but yeah. Me and Addison, me and my husband, okay, me and my husband are going on, y'all probably can't even hear me that well, um, we're going on a date tonight to this place called T 
tiki tie in Atlanta. So very nice, like cute vibes. A lot like Atlanta places to eat. We are going there at 9.30 because that was like the earliest time I could get. So let's try on the black ones. Today is December 1st. I haven't even, I don't think I've talked to you guys yet. Um, yeah, it's December 1st. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. But uh, happy December. Happy Vlogmas. You're different though. What y'all think? And this is exactly why I shop online only. Because when I go to the store, I can never find nothing. Last minute, planned, I can never find nothing. So, back to the car, okay? Now I gotta go figure out a, new, a whole new outfit. If I even have one. And then I left my phone at the house. Ciao. <sighs> Chubby drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dog. we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied Hey. Hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fuck up, I'ma beat downtown, man. Folk flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the edge, so it really ain't my motherfucking fault, man. I'm not to blame, man. This fucking industry is cut, though. I'm not the same, man. And I can let you check the time. Alright, y'all. So I just got back home. Um, I want to update you guys on yesterday because I think I vlogged like early in the morning when we went to go work out. And I did like my bloom. I did like, you know, my little, my little, uh, uh, greens that I drank and then you guys didn't see me at all and then it was the next day so and I did the same thing today I just worked out this morning but yesterday we were supposed to go out to Tiki Thai ATL but um our reservation was for like 9 30 and then it hit like 8 o'clock and me and Addison looked at each other while we sit on the couch and was like you want to just try again tomorrow I was like absolutely so <laughs> here we are again trying again today um so we actually that I, that's why I went to the mall was because I had to get an outfit for our date night tonight um but Addison's on his way home right now but i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed it is hot like y'all at the mall for two hours there's so many people there for one for two why is it that we have the the heat on 80 degrees in macy's like bruh bruh it was so so freaking hot like ridiculously hot so i'm gonna turn my air on because i'm burning up right now my nose is sweating chow it's a mess but yeah, so that is what I'm about to do right now. I'm about to go ahead and get dressed. I didn't show you guys a skirt that I had bought, but I bought a skirt from H&M. Super, super cute. Love H&M. I went to Zara. Zara, I don't know. Like, if y'all are some Zara girls out there, let me know how y'all shop at Zara. Because when I go there, everything is so neatly placed, but there's nothing there. Like, every time I go there, it's just like a disappointment. Major disappointment. Like, Zara, come on now. Come on. So, and then for the prices too, I'm like, let me take my ass to H&M. H&M is my, my place. Like, H&M, we have everything that I need there. Yeah. So, I went to H&M. And then I also went to Macy's. Um, Those shoes I showed you guys in the earlier clips, I had like three different boots I was choosing from. There was one pair of short boots that I really, really liked. They were like $50. They were on sale. But I already have my Doc Martens in my closet. They are black and they are short. So, I'm like, do I really need another pair of black short boots? No, I don't. Even though I had a Macy's gift card. Addison gave me his Macy's gift cards he was like go ahead and get you a new coat get you some new shoes whatever you need to get you know but i just couldn't fathom spending 60 dollars on some boots that i already have in my closet that are just fine so i saw those long boots right those platform ones i think i showed you guys those platform ones that were like probably like four or five inches super super cute on but baby realistically those are too tall like my husband is 5'10 5'11 on a good day you know um no, I can't wear those taller heels. That's that and first of all, that's just too tall. Like that's to me that's like go go girl, you know, like trying to do like a Halloween outfit type of thing. They were just way too tall for me. So I looked up on Google some platform black calf high boots. And the first thing that popped up was Steve Madden. So I went to Steve Madden and that's that's what I got. Like I'm gonna show y'all my Steve Madden boots. 
So that's what I got with Steve Madden. Um, this is the dress that I got. Or not dress, this is the skirt that I'm going to wear today. It's giving um, Hillary from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So, yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram, y'all. Let me show you the, um, oh, let me take away my code. Hold on, y'all. Let me show you my wedding photos. It just came back. I just uploaded some on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram. I am Nurse Chelsea. So, oh. Cute, y'all. The camera does not do it justice. These are beautiful. What? Immaculate, y'all. Look at my husband. Look at my girls. But yeah, go follow me on Instagram because I just uploaded these photos. So, yeah. We got our photos back from the wedding today. And I am in love. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. Okay, these are the Steve Madden boots I got. And I was very surprised that they fit my calves, but... These are cute! Aren't these cute? These are so cute. And they're gonna go with that. And then I'm going to wear my Skims bodysuit with it. And then I'm gonna wear a cream jacket. Let me show you the jacket I'm gonna wear with this. This is the cream jacket I'm gonna wear. Yeah. That's the outfit right there. I just gotta figure out jewelry and then um, y'all see my hair, how it's in like little twisties right now. I'm gonna take out my twist out. Let's turn on this light. Yeah. I'm going to take these out, obviously. I'm not going to Pasha looking like this. So I'm going to take this twist out out. I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and then do a little bit of makeup. Nothing major, but yeah. Do a little bit of makeup, get cute. Then we're going to go on a date night. I'm excited. Now I just got to do my makeup real quick. And then... Good morning, you guys. I'm actually going down to the mailroom right now because I ordered Addison a DNA 23andMe, like, genetics, you know, test. Um, so I wanted him to do that just so that we know, you know what I'm saying? And I, it was also on sale. It was on a Black Friday sale. It was, like, $249 originally, but I got it for $99. So we're going to run and go grab that from the mailroom real quick. I know, I know, my hair looks crazy, but by the way, sorry you guys have not been the best vlogger. We did have things to do two days ago, but I didn't really vlog very much because plans didn't go as we planned. Um, but yeah, we went to Pasha yesterday. Pasha was so nice. Addison was like, I really like this place. Like, we went there for my birthday maybe like two years ago or maybe three years ago when we first moved down here. And, um, he really liked it then, but he was like, I can really see this as like a place that I, like a go-to place, you know? And when we had family down when we buy a home, when we start having like holidays and festivities at our house. He was like, this will be a place that like, I could see us like leaving the kids at home and then going out to Pasha. So it's expensive though. So we enjoy ourselves. Here is our 23andMe kit for the genetic testing for Addison. I would still like to know his health and ancestry, even though we don't have any kids and not plan to have kids for a minute. Um, I did just change my last name officially. I think I showed you guys probably that in my last vlog, maybe. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I thought I showed you guys it, but I did change my last name officially. It definitely hit me now. Like, I was on the couch two days ago, and I was just like, Oh my gosh, like, like R.I.P. to my last name, like for real, for real. Like, I don't think it really hit me. Addison was like, it didn't hit you when I proposed to you. I was like, I was still kind of in bliss, you know? Like, I was still kind of like in la-la land. And even the wedding, I was like, oh my gosh, we're getting married. But I still was kind of like, you know, I don't know. 
any of y'all that are married, if y'all lived together before you got married, I think that that also contributes to it because it's like, it wasn't a whole lot that changed. We're just going right back home to our house, like to our apartment, you know? Oh, somebody's calling me. Ohio. I don't know that number. Anyway, hi guys. Um, good afternoon. It's like uh three o'clock now, almost. Yeah, about three o'clock. Um, I'm in the car as you can see. We are getting ready to go to. I think I told you guys earlier in this vlog that I had an interview and a second interview as well. Um, I'll update you guys more on like a separate video, but I'm headed to the the job, possibly the job. I haven't gotten the offer yet, but I feel really, really good about it. But they want me to come and like view the area and like check out how things kind of run. So I'm headed there. Um, I don't know who just called me. It was like an Ohio number. It was like Loveland, Ohio. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I'm all dressed up real cute. I'm in my scrubs. I just have on my emergency um, department shirt. It's just like a regular, like, you know, shirt does anybody anybody who's nurses that like you know follow me and everything and like watch my videos do you guys like get dressed up for interviews like interview clothes or do you just wear your scrubs because y'all already know what i'm here to do like y'all know i'm a nurse like y'all know i'm here to be a nurse so why am i even why, why am i putting on interview clothes you know like it's professional you know don't get me wrong it's, it's definitely business casual professional you know corporate but i feel like if i were working in like a corporate office it would be different then i would go ahead and put on an interview outfit but for nursing like i'm here to you know do ivs mess with blood some nasty stuff i'm putting on my scrubs because what if i gotta get down and dirty you know what i'm saying mm, that's just me i feel like that now at this point maybe when i was a new grad i did but like now at this point i'm like mm, it's gonna be scrubs so anyway i have to go get gas because i'm at like a quarter tank and then we're gonna go to the um the spot the pot potential job spot we'll see God willing, you know, it's in God's hands now if I get the offer or not. Their HR did call me a couple days ago, but she wanted to, she said she would send out, typically they send out offers after the behavioral interview, and I had that on Friday. And then today is Tuesday. I worked Sunday, Monday. So they, today, Tuesday, um, I'm going to shadow, and she was like, we typically wait till after the behavioral interview, as well as the shadowing, to see, like, you know, if you think it'll be a good fit before they send the offer. So hopefully, God willing, they send me an offer, but I hope hope and pray that this is going to be a great opportunity this is going to be a way for me to also get out of bedside you guys know that i'm over being a bedside nurse i'm going to do a separate video about that as well um so definitely just keep an eye out for that if you guys are not subscribed to my channel you may want to do that and turn on those post notifications because i'm dropping lots of bombs okay confessions of a bedside nurse retired edition soon to be so anyway i'm gonna stop blabbing i'm gonna go get gas real quick and head to this um Place. So I will check in with you guys probably once I get out. Please take your ticket with you and pay at the kiosk before exiting. Hey y'all, um, I'm sorry I'm driving right now as you can see so I have you guys propped up right in front of me but um, if you're a little shaky I sincerely apologize. It's a bunch of traffic right now so it is stop and go right now. But anyway, it's 5 o'clock now. I'm actually leaving the um, infusion center so it went really well you guys. I actually really really like the area. It definitely seems to be a, a more independent type of role which I'm used to because you guys know I worked at the med spa before and I did everything there. I was the only employee for a long period of time and um, I did you know pretty much everything. I did front desk, I did all the infusions, I mixed, I promoted, I did TikToks, I did everything. So um, yeah like that's basically what this role is. It's basically you're by yourself for the most part. That and then you also have a PRN nurse that works like Wednesdays only but you work three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Like she showed me on like the schedule. You can schedule your own patient like you know you schedule them how you want and how you want to stack them it's full-time and no holidays and no weekends you guys like things like even things like you know july 4th that's like you know independence day the entire week is blocked off like what 
she basically said that um, when the doctors are not working, you're not working. But you're getting paid for that time. You don't have to use your PTO. You just don't work and you are still getting compensated for that time. So, yeah, y'all. Um, it... I'm sold, okay? I'm sold. Sign me up. Let me put my two weeks in. Like I said, the money does have to be there. That's the biggest factor, and that's what I've been praying on is that I'm able to be compensated well enough. Like I, I can't, I can't go down to making thirty-five dollars an hour from where I'm at right now. Like I just can't take that that much of a drop. I can't afford that much of a drop right now, especially in this economy. So I'm really hoping that they can come with some type of agreement on pay. Yeah. I'm super excited. I'm going to actually email the lady when I get back home. Um, Addison's making dinner tonight, but I'm going to email the lady when I get back home and just kind of let her know, like, you know, thank her and, you know, thank her for the time or thank her for allowing me to go in and like, you know, visit the facility and see kind of how things work and um, that everything went really well. And then I'm hoping to hear from um, HR real soon, you know, and that kind of thing. Like, just letting her know that, like, I'm still very much so interested in the position, even after, you know, shadowing and, like, you know, the other nurse showing me around. So, so yeah, you guys. Like, I really hope that this, I hope I get this offer. I hope I get this job. Um, This would be <clears throat> a big change for me in the right, in a good direction. I can definitely see myself working there, like, long term. Um, It's just a very, like, chill vibe, you know? I'm sorry, y'all. My voice is, like, so scratchy. I think that it's definitely a big change from, obviously, the hospital, but it's something I'm familiar with because I worked at the med spa previously and mixing drips and you know infusions and things like that is I'm very familiar with that the only thing is, is that all of these infusions none of them are vitamin infusions they are like autoimmune infusions like people who have lupus people who have like osteoporosis people who have um ra rheumatoid arthritis there are infusions to help with the inflammation so um yeah it's a little bit different but it is very similar in the same sense so i'm excited you guys and we can wear whatever color scrubs we want to <sighs> like are you kidding me I can wear my scrubs I have on now, like my, I have these like, um, they're not navy, but they're not royal blue, they're like a, a dark, like murky blue, I guess is how I would describe it, so I'm just really happy about that, I can wear whatever color I want, I'll keep you guys posted, like, if I get this job, which God willing, I do, I pray that I can get this job, you guys, I really, really need something different other than bedside, I am so over it, and I really feel good about this role as well, yeah. I really hope I get this job, you guys. I really do. But yeah, I'm about to head home anyway. Um, I will keep you guys posted on this whole new era of nursing that I'm trying to branch into. I still want to do aesthetics. I still love, you know, aesthetics. I could definitely see myself working PRN at a med spa, you know, um, while doing, you know, that full time. But uh, yeah, when the time comes, if God, you know, thinks that that is going to be in my, you know, future, then I feel like that God's gonna bless me with that opportunity. Why are you in my lane, sir? <sighs> you don't know how to drive down here, y'all. So, oh my God, it's so much traffic. Oh, there's a cop right here, y'all. Let me get off. Um, I'll talk to you guys when I get back home.